position. We need to trigger it. Um, better, can I hit the button? Come on, don't make me die here. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Crafter. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and today I'm going to start off by, I'm not sure what the point of this is, but I'm going to do it anyway, um, making a tree, much like I've been making a bunch of the other lava, I think it's probably a good idea to get started. The other thing I was going to look at is whether or not I can make um, one of the optimizers. So, for example, one of these optimizers, I can make like a big, a big powerful optimizer here. Now, one of the things I really need to do is start optimizing output of plant output because. I believe that's some of what's holding us back. So you've got plant, plant here, 500, 500. And I guess you could, I don't know if you can mix the oxygen output with it. Um, but I'm told in the bigger ones you can put three. And you see what's holding us back here is biomass slash plants. This is what seems to be holding us back from going further. I mean, we have some flower spreaders. We, we, do we have T2s? Oh my god. I mean, that is very heavy rain. I think we do. I think are these T1 or T2 flower spreaders? So this is, yeah, this is a T2 flower spreader. We have a couple of these. Um, my only concern is range. Like, how many can we get around one of these? And is it worth having the upgraded one? So, we're going to do a little bit of testing. Now, my plan is to, one, grab some iron. So, I can build a stand in the middle of the ocean. Hello? That there's bugs everywhere. They're all over the place. So, in the middle of this big patch of water here, back near where my old pod used to be, this is where I want to build. Now, how high I can go? I mean, I don't I guess there's nothing under here I can harvest. Um, how high I can go? I don't know or how easy it will be. I don't really know. So we'll go like this. And I know people did say I could control and make several like that. Now I don't think I've actually brought enough iron, which is a little bit annoying. But um, yeah, now I was told this is probably the best way to do it, is to, come on, come out the water, is to build like a platform and then build round it. This is an inventive way to at least get like a platform that we can put the multiplier on. So, oh, I still have more. Oh well. Um, let's go and take, it was... Oh god, I've forgotten what it was. It was uranium, wasn't it? Uranium and explosive, which we're going to need some of. Actually, I will probably make the explosive. And we need the, 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 the obsidian. Three of the obsidian we got before. So I'm going to make some of that explosive and then we'll get that set up and then I'll see if we can put several several algae spreaders T2 around it because I think that's the most powerful thing I've got for spreading biomass at the moment I and mean, this increases plants by 11 
but I can't really boost that. Algae spreader T2 plants 23. Hmm. Flower spreader is actually plants 24. Plants 40, 43. So actually they are the most efficient. Hmm. Hmm, he says. Now I'm reconsidering what I'm doing. Okay, let me have a little bit of a think about that. We'll go and um, make it and see and see how big an area it will cover. We'll move it out there and we'll have a look at whether we can actually do it with the flower spreaders then. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I don't know what the hell is going on with the uh, weather this episode. It's absolutely just pissing it down all the time. Um, now I need to find somewhere I mean I'm getting increasingly concerned about the level of water around everywhere and whether my base is going to end up underwater I'm feeling like this isn't stopping I need to come up with somewhere to lay this out that's relatively flat um, you know what there's a large part of me that says there's a big flat area up by the Stargate and you know I'm not really doing much up there so I could put it up there I'm gonna go have a look because I think that might be a good option okay well it's changed a little here since we were last here but um I do think this isn't a bad spot maybe not like right here maybe just over this way but um, looks like somewhere we could make a reasonable size sort of flat area to put down some of these things. And it depends how much water we've got here. Yeah, this look, this looks, this looks viable. Okay, so let's have a look. How big is the area of said Dubri Firkin? Not bad, pretty big. Okay, so. You take three, which I forgot to bring with me. Fantastic. Right. Let's um, see. If you have... If I look at you in terms of... Right, there. And then I hit this. It's inside. Okay. And then, can I have... I can have crossover. My question is, does the crossover impact their ability to work because this one can do like up to eight so will the crossover impact their ability to operate and is that inside the ring you know I might have to reorder these and space them out a bit more I only have these 400% ones but this should be yeah it's 400% at the moment so we'll get it We'll get these going, and then I'll see, because these should be 400%, and then when we put the other thing in, they should be really kicking up. Oh my god, I'm going to run out of air. I hadn't noticed. Yes, oxygen low, you don't say. Right, can we make it? Because there was something interesting on the way back I also want to have a look at, which I spotted as I went by. Do you mind if I... Yeah, thank you. Do we have anything here? We have... We don't have any nifty seeds here. We don't have any 500% seeds. No. We have some basic materials, which we'll leave there. So, what I did see was just down this way. And over here, there was a vine going up. And in the distance, I could see some sort of strange looking flower on top of a couple of these. So, I feel like the vines are calling to me here to climb. So, hopefully we can climb this, yeah. And there is something here, which means we can actually take that. And that is, that's a 450%. So, I am game for that. And this one? What have we got here? This one got anything interesting? Some zeolite. And another one of the 450. So that's all good. Right. 
and I believe base is back over that way. So we'll head out back over this way, picking up bits I've clearly missed along the route. There was another trunk I missed along the way as well, but I need to go and get the boosters for that thing. And I'm hoping I can put like two plant and one oxygen in and hoping that will actually work. I don't know if you can mix and match them, but we're going to find out. So, yes, can't deconstruct, I know. There we go. Deconstruct that one though, can't we? There we go. Okay, so while we're back at base, I'll just let you know we're having a quick change of manufacturing here. Because as you know, we've been auto manufacturing bioplastic nuggets, which has been great, but we've got plenty of them, and we actually do have plenty of them. Um, for the time being. I don't seem to be using that many at the moment. But what we do need is the fertilizer because we're not making enough fertilizer to build these these flower spreaders. So I'm going to dump these and we're going to grab a bunch of these and start manufacturing fertilizer over here instead of bioplastic nuggy so we want fertilizer so in here I've put algae and I've put a bunch of of sulfur which I'll put a few more sulfur in actually and these two are almost ready so we'll grab those as well because those are not in range of this machine so I'll be able to bring those over and once I I'll probably do do that one just to get it growing before I leave and then we'll head back over and plug the things into the other things and see if we can get them working also I'm tempted to just upgrade these anyway I know they're not doing a lot now but I have got such good seeds kicking around I might as well use them okay so very quickly before I head out I have a little switcheroo here and have actually basically increased the amount of food I'm growing for me down here kept these growing for me um, because I need more than just one for me but I've doubled up and we've now got eight of the growers down here I mean, in truth, I could probably get rid of, for example, this one. But we'll keep it for the time being. If I've built it, we'll keep it. But I'm going to take these these up and just see if it works. Um, I'm just going to keep those somewhere safe for the minute. Because I haven't got the stuff to use them yet anyway. But I want to see if I can get that multiplier working and see if it works as I hope it does. Okay, so let's see how we're getting on over here. Now, hopefully these are working efficiently. Growth 100%, producing thing, yeah, okay. Now, let's see, if we plug this in, which is 500, we plug two of these in, and can we plug an oxygen in separately? So this has got all three of those in. So we did have 43 before. So that's times a thousand percent and the oxygen is times a hundred percent. That does work. It's very hard to see, but that is now half a kilo per second. Pretty much. Okay. That is good news. So that is what I was hoping for it to do. Now, I don't remember if there's anything worth deconstructing in oh yeah I should be able to can, how do I I got the drink thing last time didn't I I can drink from lakes question how do I drink from oh look like that sweet I don't need to bring water with me anymore I keep for, uh, I was forgetting I got that I'm just just gonna nip in here and see if there was anything to deconstruct that I haven't deconstructed um, so I'm just going to have a look around here. 
I'll only bring you back in if there was something interesting. Okay, so inside was just really deconstructing for a few bits of circuit board and there was a new spacesuit, which is a vanity thing I'm not too fussed about. But I have, he says, as I plonk these bits in here, noticed on the way up there's an area here requiring explosives. Now, this will be the first chance I've had to use my explosives. So as I just happened across it, I suspect I'm going to give it a go. Um, can be done with explosives. Right, so how do I actually use the explosives to do this then? Like that. Um, do I, oh, I, I guess I have to... I guess I have to... Oh. Oh. Balls. That's annoying. Because I'm, I'm probably better to put it up here rather than down there. Okay. Lesson learnt. Can't deconstruct explosives. Get it in the right place to start off with. But yes, we're going to try and explode that. And why am I going back without leaving the stuff behind? I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. And this time I bought two explosives, just to be sure. So I'm gonna... Alright, I need to get the jetpack to work in my favour here. Thank you. Alright, up here, somewhere. Let's, can we stick it, like, right here? That would be, like, the place to put it, right? Like, right here? So, can I hit the trigger button? Trigger. Run! Okay. And... Yay! Victory! Okay. So what have we got? New things to find. New things to discover. Ooh. New blueprint received. Tree spreader. Ooh, finally. Tree spreader. And we've been making some trees. So, tree spreader. That will be good for biomass. And I did receive, I haven't upgraded to it yet, I did receive the um, Food Grower Mark II as well. So I need to have a look at that because assuming that will grow the food faster, which will be useful for, well, growing food faster, I assume. Okay, more good stuff. And you are not deconstructible. You, however, are for circuit boards, which I guess is useful. And as we are here, we may as well deposit a bunch of this. Okay, back to the joy. Right. What have we got? What have we got? Anything? A lot of fertilizer, which is going to come in handy because while we're producing fertilizer, we're going to be interested in growing that up as quickly as possible for the biomass. These look interesting. They look like some sort of stasis pods. A little bit disturbing. Is there another planet crafter inside? Okay, let's go down. What's down here? Okay. I, I'm keeping it on deconstruct these days because... I've missed several like deconstructible walls and stuff, so I'm trying to keep it on deconstruct. But that means like there's aid here. Let's uh, see what's in here. More fertilizer and uranium rods and all sorts. Okay, but nothing else super exciting apart from like beds and stuff. I guess could have a nap. I mean, this is pretty deep now we are inside. I mean, that's what she said, as they say. But, uh, yeah. I'm not seeing anything like blueprint or anything here. So far. Windy, windy corridors. We can deconstruct this one to carry on through. And that one to carry on through. And 
Zombie apocalypse, anyone? No? Okay. Okay, this place is freaking huge. I am so going to get turned around here. God, there's more. And there's more. Oh, I am so going to get lost. Right. Let's scan around the outside here. Looking for... Oh, God. I am very going to get lost. Okay, that is down. Down is a whole other thing. Oh, my good God. More down. This place is enormous. Okay. Uh, more tokens. Not sure about the trade thing. I haven't built the trade thing yet. I'm not sure what the trade thing is for. Well, I, I'm sure we'll find out over time. I mean, this looks interesting. I want to look around the outside here first. But... Oh god, there's like some sort of meteor shower going on outside. Oh my goodness. There's just so much stuff here. Tokens, 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 tokens. Right, I can activate these, can I? I can. I can, can I? Sure I can. There we go. We get the tokens. Let's get the tokens, get the tokens, get the tokens. Yes. Pity about the other stuff. And there's still more down here. Yeah, there is still more down here. Right, I'm going to have to head back up and see what else we can find here. I'll probably do another run just picking bits up here before I uh, search out any further. Because there is... I mean, the problem is, can I even find my way back out? I don't suppose... You know, when they say about building things like beacons, because I'm running out of thing here. Uh, I haven't got the stuff to build a beacon. I was like, maybe I could build a beacon to get my ass out of here. Um, possibly not. Right. I'm sure I saw this. I came in one of these ways. Possibly around here. Right, well this might take me a while, but wish me luck. I hope I'm going to get out of here alive. Okay, we're back. We're back searching around down here. This is the room we were in previously. We grab these bits. Let's grab that. And we will grab these bits as well. That is this green area cleared says I haven't seen anything else any deconstructibles or anything like that so I'm assuming that is this area cleared off we could have gone this way there was a way out this way yeah through I'm not sure if that takes us back I think it does it takes us back where we were and then we've got the down over here. Let's just try and make sure we've cleared off all these areas. Because I am sure I'm going to miss something here. Because it's dark. It's a freaking maze. And super alloy rod not to be sniffed at. And yeah, we're going around again. God, I am going to be so lost. I am never getting out of here alive. I've not seen any little blueprints. I'm surprised at that. I've not seen anything that could be blueprints or anything like that. I mean, this place is huge. Oh, more explosives needed to get around there, but okay. I mean, we have explosives. We can do that. Um, how do I trigger it? Can I, can I please trigger it? No, that's unfortunate. I can't seem to reach the button. 
I don't want to destroy the explosives. I would like to trigger the explosives. Please, please, please. Oh, I can pick them up again. Ah, I just deconstructed them last time. Okay, let's try dropping it again. See if it'll drop in a slightly better position for me to trigger it. Um, better? Can I hit the button? Come on. Don't make me die here. Don't make me die here just trying to place the goddamn explosives. Really? Really, game? You hate me that much? What the? I'm not quite sure. I'm doing something wrong. Two. Okay, that took me longer to do than I uh, than I care to mention, and apparently achieved nothing. Ah. Oh. That was a waste, wasn't it? Um, yeah, that took me a lot longer to do than I care to mention, and part of it was because I was clicking the drop thing rather than right-clicking on it. I was being a bit of an idiot. But, yeah, it took me a lot longer to do than I would think, and I think that was... Part of it was my brain, and part of it is that, that it's not very intuitive to use. Right. Can we get further down here? Because we're in a bit of a hurry now. Because I've used one of my oxygen supply. I mean, we've got a bunch of freaking rockets now. Um, let's deconstruct these. And what the hell is this? Open access console. Okay, what? Okay, we need something for the access console. Um, I need some more water and bits in a minute as well. Um, okay. We need something for the access console. What do we need for the access console? No key cards or anything that I have seen. Doesn't mean they're not there though. No, no, no. Nothing there, okay. Let's keep hunting around. So somewhere here, somewhere around, there's like an access key card to get into this console. And blowing up that rock didn't do it for me. So let's keep moving. As like I say, I'm going to have to top up on auction very soon. Yep, there's me warning. And probably water too. But yeah, I am so turned around. I don't know where anything is. Um, the, the chance of me actually getting out of this place alive are freaking minimal. Right. We're up to this level. And there's an uncommon lava here. But we're going to be, we're going to need to hopefully f happen across some food in the not too distant future. Because we've got a shortage of food. And hydration we can deal with when we get that far. I'm going to hold off on the hydration first, make a lot, make the most of it. Okay, so I've gone around a bit of a loop there. That has not given me anything new that way. So let's go down here. Right. A box. An access card. There we go. Okay. I might have to go back up surface and get myself back into a situation where I can come back down to use the access card. Okay, that door is not going to let me through. Because, oh, we've got another, another one here. Another access card. Okay, so we've got two access cards now. Right. Okay, I am going back up. I'm going to try and 
restock and make sure I'm in a sensible situation to go for another run. Okay, so while I've been running around trying to level things up, I've upgraded the food producers in my habitat, or at least four of them, to the tier twos. Um, I, I've realized I have a bunch of stuff enough to make a bunch more of these little puppies. So we're going to do that. We're going to try and make sure we've got um, at least, I'm going to say, I think, that's, I think that's within range, isn't it? Is that within range? That might not be within range. No, no, that's within range. So I think we can place four of these, which means we're like one short on being able to replace, being able to place another one. So we might have to do a bit of jiggery pokery to get that last one in. But with all of these, it should be running absolutely, yeah, 950 on the oxygen because, of course, it's 450 oxygen multiplier for the actual plant here. So that's pretty mental. And this is actually going to help a lot because that's really going to be boosting up. Oxygen's not so such a big requirement, but it will be up, uprating the biomass massively. So, you know, that's literally kilos per second which is far better than what we had previously now we're gonna head back down to where we were exploring and see if we can actually figure out our way through I left the cards behind I shipped a bunch of stuff back to the actual um, base there we go look beehive blueprint received so we must have hit 80 tons of biomass, which is pretty awesome. So let's take the key card and you see I've brought some oxygen. I don't have any spare water, which is a bit of a problem because I could probably do with some of that. Let's, before we do that, let's actually go top up then and Maybe we can build a beehive while we're at it. I think I need to bring some water with me while I get lost in that huge cavernous uh, base and see what's there. So, yeah, we're coming back in and do -do 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 -do. let's have a look let's check on the biomass while we're here because we've done a few things here to sort of beef things up a little um we need to grab some water we can eat this one yoink right so we have hit 80 tons of biomass and yeah the biomass is flying up now so we have done some serious work on the biomass plants holy shit that does plants 350 per second a beehive okay maybe we just put a beehive up there as the extra one what does a beehive require bee larvae oh crap but i don't have that that's not one of the larvas I can produce, is it? Bee larva. An onca. So I produced one. Haven't I? Haven't I? Haven't I? Haven't I? Uh, no, I've got an uncommon. It's one of the like few ones I haven't actually produced one of. So what do I need? I need an uncommon, which I've got, some mutagen and some fertilizer. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Fertilizer and mutagen, if you please. Actually, you know what I need to do? Which I haven't done for a while. I need to collect some gas. And make some mutagen. I don't actually remember how to make mutagen. Sulfur and bacteria sample. We're going to have to go out shopping for sulfur soon as well. 
because we're actually getting through a reasonable bit of sulfur because I'm going to be making some mutagen. One, two, three, four, five. We'll make a bunch because these are relatively easy to build, just algae and water. There we go. Okay. And you'll find we've got fertilizer aplenty coming in now, which is fine. We'll keep that going for a little while and then we'll probably switch it up to something else. Because the autocrafter is doing a good job there. Alright, so we've got the fertilizer, we've got the mutagen. Let's see if we can get that one running for the bee lava. Alright, there you go, and go for it. How long are you going to take? 3%? 7%? Okay, maybe a little while. Okay, I'm going to go back and explore that base then, while that happens. I've made sure I've got food with me. Um, we'll make sure I've got some water with me. What in the hell is going on here again? Is that like super alloy rain? Again, it looks like super alloy rain. It's got that multicolor about it. Yep, yeah, it's super alloy rain. Okay, new distraction, super alloy rain. Let's go and grab as much as I can. I gotta be honest, I feel like I don't get half of that super alloy when when it comes down, it comes raining down. As soon as I go in after my inventory's full, that's it. I'm I'm kinda done. It seemed not to be able to get any more. But that's alright, that gave us a good stock, so I'm not gonna complain. That gave us quite a bit. We topped up this one and we've got a few in the second super alloy. So that's pretty good. Let's take some beans, beans, and beans. Let's take all of those with us. And I guess now we're going to head out and see if we can actually investigate this base without getting distracted yet again. So, shocking story. We're back up here because I got distracted again. Um, and I realized I could make a bee jobby here which I'm assuming gets also hit by the multiplier uh do you do you? I where did it go there hang on I didn't oh what it collects honey oh, it collects honey I was gonna say it I thought I have it was gonna be like I had to put the bee lava in it um yeah so it is actually being hit by the thing and that is then producing a thousand percent so yeah it is, it is producing 3.5 kilograms per second that is pretty pretty nifty so that should be really hammering up the biomass now which should help take us to the next level there I'm not sure how many beehives I can sort of make. I mean, in theory, you could replace all of that with beehives and have them all just chewing through. Um, yeah, just chewing through biomass, producing a lot of biomass. All right, let's um, I'll take one of these. And I'll leave the rest behind try not to have too much weight in here right which way was I bloody going is the question all the way back down I'll let you know when I get there okay so I haven't found my way back I'm close I'm on like the a uh, uh, second level down um, but I found somewhere else this has a freaking ship! Oh, tell me I can fly the ship. 
Tell me I can take the ship. Tell me I can have the ship. I want the ship. Uh, this goes round here. Yeah? yeah, this goes round like before. So let's see if I can go down. Let's grab that. Anything back here as expected? Yes, there is. And please tell me I can fly the ship. I guess there's no way out. It's kind of gutsy. You know, you're teasing me with a ship. And more credits. Oh, I'm going to be wealthy. I mean, I'm not sure what that wealth is for, but I'm going to have it. Right, after all that, I'm going to have to go straight back up again and unload before I really embark on the rest of this journey. I got so close. Well, I've been going around trying to... I found my way out, and on my way out, I found um, one of those power generators. I didn't... I've cut it out because it's just one of those um, ones that I'm supposed to put the power supply into to unlock doors and there was nothing else there so I just thought I might as well tell you about it rather than actually show it but I need a freaking map here I mean for once I'm now thinking maybe the map thing it would be useful ooh butterfly dome me once me once a lot um because I'm spending a lot of time, there we go, I found, I've run into it again. I'm spend, spending a lot of time running around here aimlessly, not being able to find where the bloody hell I'm supposed to be going. I'm still looking for the ladder to the lower freaking level. And the truth is, I'm wasting a lot of resources just running around like an idiot. Um, so while I'm trying to remember it and map it out in my head where I'm supposed to be going um, it's not working very well and ultimately I need to do to do better you know so I'm guessing that the I'm hoping that the map will show me and if this doesn't work out I will go for the map um, at the moment, I am going to persist until I find it. Okay, that took me bloody ages, but eventually I found it. And I'm not even sure if there might actually be two of these. So anyway, let's have a look. What's in here? Open the big safe. Okay, that's good. We'll take those credits rest of it other than a blueprint not too worried about can i deconstruct this no i didn't think i could but i mean i am genuinely not sure if there's two of these t2 mutagen Ooh, interesting okay and we'll use that one for the credits and this one purple quartz and another couple of super alloy rods which is awesome now yeah literally i've been running around like a prat down here so much that i'm absolutely confused as to whether there might actually be a second door down here i don't think there is i think it's all in my head um just because the area is turning me around so much but i'll let those of you who have played before in the comments probably let me know whether or not there is, and whether I'm just being an idiot. Um, but I'm guessing they give you two key cards just in case. Um, still, we will attempt now to find our way back out of this hellhole. And I think next time, I'm going to be seriously considering making the map. Because I don't know if the map will show this sort of stuff, but I'm hoping it will. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe as always, and join me again next time 
when I might still be stuck down here, completely bloody lost. Thanks a lot.